Hello, my name is Jerry Resnick, and I'm an instructor for PetroTeach, and I would like you to watch my following slide presentation covering my course on acid stimulation techniques. This course is designed to help perform acidizing on a well candidate in a logical step-by-step -step process, and then select and execute an appropriate chemical treatment for the oil or gas well. The subject matter covered in this course is practical in intent and avoids the more complicated acid reaction chemistries that are covered in other courses. Effective acidizing is guided by practical limits in volumes and types of acid and procedures so as to achieve an optimum removal of the formation damage around the wellbore. Much of the material in this course is based on field case studies and concepts derived from experimental lab testing and scientific research. The course is designed to provide an introduction to significant and necessary concepts and practices. The course objective is to provide reasonable procedures and guidelines and to offer cautions suggested by particular formation compositions and reservoir conditions. The learning objectives of the topmost level content of the course are to provide reasonable procedures and guidelines, to offer cautions suggested by particular formation compositions and reservoir conditions, to learn about the many processes involved in acid stimulation operations, and to learn about acidizing equipment, both surface and downhole, and to learn how to plan and execute an acid job in the field. The course content is broken down into five modules. In the first module, we will discuss basic acidizing treatments, purposes and applications for these treatments, effects of acidizing on undamaged wells, how to select successful acidizing candidates, the use of production history plots, in design, using offset well data for comparison of results, pressure buildup tests and their uses, formation damage diagnosis, how to identify the extent and type of reservoir damage, and finally, how to remove this damage by using chemical solvents. In module two, we will discuss formation response to acid, formation properties and fluid compatibility, formation matrix properties, formation mineralogy and its effect on acid design, methods of controlling precipitates during treatment, the acid treatment design itself, and matrix acidizing design guidelines. In the third course module, the content we will discuss includes acid type and concentration, the use of retarded hydrofluoric acids, geochemical models, acid placement and coverage, mechanical diversion techniques, particulate diversion techniques, how and why we use viscous acid, advances in acid diversion techniques, and how 
we modify our designs when acidizing horizontal wells. In module four of the course, we will discuss additives. There are many types and kinds of additives used with acids, and we will cover the purposes and the applications and how you incorporate them into your acid design. On the fifth and final course module, the content includes job supervision at the well site, safety and environment protection, well bore for preparation for the acid job, quality control measures, injection rate control and monitoring, pressure behavior, what to expect during acid injection, on-site evaluation of acid treatment effectiveness, spent acid production control, produced fluid sampling, evaluation of the acid treatments, how to continuously improve your designs, and finally, a summary of the course. Thank you for watching this presentation on my acid stimulation course. I would like to close with a little information about myself. I have been working in the oil and gas industry for over 40 years. Much of this time has been at the well site managing drilling, completion, and workover operations. Again, thank you and have a great day.